This tutorial will get you through the steps of how to use the lobby template with the Steam Advanced Session plugin. First of all, you want to download the right plugin version for your engine. Extract it to your project plugin folder, and if you don't have one, create a new folder. Now we want to change the default engine INI with the pre made code from Epic. Next, pull up your project. Open the BP Lobby system. Change the functions for the git controller name and git corrector name. In the BPPS Lobby system, we want to change the initial loading of our name so we don't rely on the save game anymore. To get the right player name when the player enters the lobby, go to the player info widget. Next up will be the lobby blueprint. We're going to create the session. We're going to swap the session node for the advanced session node, and then hook everything up again. To accept invite requests. We need to create a new advanced friends game instance for this template. In there we call the event on session invite accepted. It's important to destroy the session we're in right now to join a new one. For the list of friends we want to invite, we create a new widget and customize it to our needs. Once you're done with your basic layout, we want to make text to match our friend's Steam names. For this, create a new variable that we change to friend info, set it to expose on spawn and instance editable.
Next, our button gets a code to invite our players to our session. To make everything visible in the game, go to the Invite Friend widget and create new widgets. Don't forget to set your scroll boxes variable. Once that is done, we're going to hop into the code. First, create a flip-flop node to toggle the friend widget. To create a working widget to be shown, we want to call the get and store friends list node and loop it and break the array. For this example, I'm using the is playing node so I get some results on my invite later on. Once that's done, create a widget from class, hook it up, and add your scroll box as a child. Now you can start a project to stand alone and use Steam in your project. If you have any more questions, please join our Discord server and we can help you there. Thank you. Have a great day.